just up checking the first site hope you drop bees on we're going to drop some more off at the other end of these fields tomorrow but this is the first super and they are repairing and filling out the second super for wax corn there's a little bit of nectar being brought in as well so they are starting on the second super I'm going to come up at the weekend I've promised the landowner here that I'll come up bring up a couple of suits and I'll get the uh, I'll get them through and out so they can see what's going on so I'll bring up a third super I think by then they're going to need it I have got smoke but they're not too bothered by me which is nice So they're doing well to fill them. I'm a bit late getting here because I had to go up to Oakhampton to National Bee Supplies to pick up some foundation because one of us left a load of supers outside. Not realising that they still had frames inside. So I've picked up 200 sheets of foundation. So I have 200 frames to make up. That'll keep me busy tonight. And the one of us, well, that's me. Third supers at the weekend. And then another site tomorrow. Although there's two supers full of bees. Brood box is just as rammed. Here's the queen in this colony. White dot on her back. She's one of our queens that we grafted ourselves. The first frame which is on the end the, out, the outside frame is full of food both sides this one next to it has brood on it so you can pretty much guess that she's filled the box of brood so she's doing really well what I tend to do as well when you come off the rapeseed is use these bees to make our mate and nukes up and two hands to stick this one back in Because when you take the supers away from them, all the brood that's obviously on these frames now we want somewhere to go. So we tend to reduce their numbers by using these bees to make up our mating nukes. But I think what I may well do is put a another brood box on top. There's eggs in the end as well. So if I put another brood box on top, she'll then get the run of both boxes. And when the time comes to split them, there's two boxes laid up. This frame here, which is in the centre, pretty much one off the centre really. Which is darker brood on the, the cappings in the centre, the centre frames, because that's where she would have started the nest from and worked her way out. So it gets darker with the footprints. It also becomes darker because the the bees that are inside waiting to emerge will be chewing away at the inner side. So you'll be able to see just the bare edge of the cocoon which is inside. And chances are this centre piece, I'm just trying to move it with my finger, this centre piece there where the bees were, they've now filled that up with nectar coming in drones along the bottom which is these bullet type cells so they're the males female worker bees which are the flat cabins 
and all the rest of them here will be females. So there's only a few, couple of a few drones that I've seen. Um, so I'm not really too fussed, to be honest. There's one there. There's a male drone. I'm not really too fussed about these, and I've seen enough, so I don't need to do a full inspection. There's no swarm cells. They're not interested in replacing her. Got no intention of doing that. And they're not gonna leave because there's food coming in. And as long as I keep giving them space, they'll keep bringing it in. So I'll quickly go through the other. This one next to it has a nice slab of brood on these frames. I've just taken the first frame out, which is this one here. And there, uh, well, they're still building comb on it, patching it, repairing it, and building that out. But this has brood on it, both sides. So this is the third frame in. That'll stay there, maybe not. Second frame has brood on it. And then this side there's open brood and eggs. So again, this one, she's reached the outer edge of the nest but they're spending a bit more time building this out there's only a handful of the walls only a handful in there in the supers so they're not doing a great deal up in the supers which isn't the problem it just lets them have that feed the fresh nectar coming in the pollen so they can build the nest and then build out some combs and the bees that are up in there, I need two hands in a minute. The bees that are in the super will just start cleaning it up and then patching the, the wax. My screen's not gone dim, so my battery's gonna run out on me. So the next frame and the following are both like this. Both full of brood. I haven't yet seen the queen, but I don't particularly need to. There's food being stored, so they are bringing it in. And then once they realize that's gonna be full, It'll move up to the supers. 